Hello. Well, we're back here again, and I'm in my office, and um, I've decided to spend some time focusing on a picture that I happen to really, really like. I bought this picture at a time when um, life felt a little bit hopeless, and as you notice in the picture, there's a, a locked door, and, um, and yet, in spite of what looks like a locked door, you see this flower growing and these two birds that have broken through. And I think in this time of COVID, sometimes we wonder when in the world will something break through so that we can be free. And yet the Spirit of God always breaks into our moments, breaks through the locked doors and creates a window that allows us to fly through and be free. So today I was looking at the Ezekiel passage, um, the Valley of the Dry Bones, where God breathed life back into these bones that seem to be not doing so very well. And we hear these words, And I will put my spirit within you, and you will come to life. And I will place you on your own land, and then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it, declares the Lord. Indeed, God does break through our darkness. God does break through our locked doors. Um, God does break through the moments that seem like there's no way through and gives us a chance to fly free. And so we can know this, and I think it's such a good word of hope today as we kind of ponder on this, this picture. Um, let's pray together. Lord God, thank you that you break into what doesn't feel very hopeful, that you break through all the locked doors and, and you make a way. And as we are in this time, I know that you are also making a way for our church, for our world, for all that is going on. And you will place our feet on the ground and you will breathe new life into, into our moments. Thank you for this today. We pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. And maybe today as you uh, go forward, you can remember this picture. If you're feeling hopeless at all, you can just look at it and think, yeah, God's got a way through. No matter where you are, God's got a way through. God bless you.